Hey guys, this is David. Welcome back behind the velvet rope. My voice is cracking. We haven't even started. Oh my gosh. Um, we have someone very special here today, you know, which is all part of a new segment that we are going to be bringing to you from time to time, styled by Sonica. Hi, Sonica. Hi. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. We're going to be, you know, talking fashion. Of course, it relates to Bravo and Housewives. I mean, let's keep it on. Let's keep it on par, but tell us about yourself a little bit. So I am a personal fashion stylist because I work with personal clients and I also work behind the scenes with models and doing shoots. Um, but coincidentally, I do do some TV people in particular. I'll dress time to time Dolores Catania from The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Which is how we know each other. And that's how we know each other. So and I and not just that I dress her, but she's also a personal friend of mine. So completely. Yes. And we'll get into that because we are gonna talk fashion week. And I we're know. gonna talk spot housewife spottings, housewife drama, everything that happened as it relates to housewives, but also fashion. I mean, anyone that's not in New York knows I mean, well, anyone that's not in New York doesn't know, you know, we have fashion week. Yeah, we're very lucky that this is in our backyard. We are. I mean, people fly from everywhere to come. They do. Deandra Simmons. I know. I got to hang out with her on you Saturday. Did. Yes. We have to discuss all of that. So, yes, people do come from all over for Fashion Week, and it really is in our backyard. And it really is a big thing here. It really is. It is. No, it's it's a scene. You know, you mean you're in fashion, so it's a big thing for you. But even if it's not... It's a big thing, and I mean, for you, it's about fashion, and for me, I need to be at all the shows because that's where the housewives are. I know, and I'm, well, we're going to be talking about the shows, oh, and yes. there's the one show I told you to go to. I'm devastated. So we're going to get, so let's just go. I figured, you know what, the easiest way to do this is kind of like day by day. Not that we did stuff every day, because I didn't. I mean, yeah, no, and I didn't either, and, and neither did I get invited to everything. Either. That's the thing, guys. You don't just like decide that you know you <clears throat> want to go to the Christian Siriano show. I mean, we all know that Christian Siriano... Did you know Christian Siriano is my future husband? Did you oh, know this? Isn't that a good one? I like that. You See, got Is that on your vision board? It's Sonica. You, you got to put it out there. It is so on my vision board. Okay. It is so on my vision okay. board. Okay. It's Jeff Lewis was a contender, but he's now taken. And I, really, Christian's better for me. Mm -hmm. He's the right height. He's the right just everything. And he's about here. Him. He's here. He's here. Jeff's on the West Coast. I know. He is on the West Coast. Even though he is, he seems more of a New York City guy. Believe it right? or not. And he he comes here to do his radio show at Sirius mm -hmm. from time. You know, at times. But not enough. Christian's the one for me. Okay. All right. So. It's not like, right, you don't just decide you want to go to the – until we get married or at least start dating, <laughs> I can't just walk into the Christian no, it's show. very it's very difficult because I even know certain high-profile people couldn't even make it into his yeah. show. Yeah. So, right, so Sonic and I are going to bring you our version of Fashion Week, which, listen, which we're going to get into, the Housewives – Guys, the housewives don't go to Christian Soriano's show either. Like, no. you know, that's the thing. A lot of designers do not want the housewives no, there. No, they don't. That's what I. That's what I've been told. I mean, I I've worked with some PR places to get clothing on loan, and they are very particular on who is wearing the designer's clothing. They really are. Yeah. So I mean, everyone listening to this, you know, don't think, oh, poor David and Sonica can't get into these. Shit. I mean. <laughs> The housewives can't. And I mean no, the housewives. Yeah. I'm not mm -hmm. saying Luann has any special privileges, Ramona. I mean, it doesn't matter what city you're from. No. Okay, like, I think there's exceptions, like... Beverly Hills? <laughs> well, Erica <laughs> is, like, best friends with, like, a Mark Jacobs, you right, know? Right. Or, and I think you can go... Well, I mean, how do you feel? Like, can you go if you buy the clothes? Like, okay, Luann is I mean, not... I think if, if... Listen, I think, first off, some of the people that are attending, I mean, and that should be the priority, are the people who are spending that type of bank yeah. on that clothing. So if you are a really good client, regardless if you're a New Jersey housewife, you're a regular housewife, whoever you are, you should get an invite. Because if you're spending that kind of money, that's respect. That's how I feel. So, I mean, to that effect. So if they're spending the money and they're not getting the clothing borrowed, 
Because that's like a big thing, too. I hear a lot of people say, oh, they're getting their, you know, everything they get is for free. I mean, have you heard that? Oh, about the housewives? Yeah. Um, I would be one of those people saying that. Okay, not close. But, but I a lot think... of things. And I mean, and I, I'm not like, I mean, this is just what I've heard in general. Not yeah. that I know this firsthand. You know what I mean? Exactly. But Well, I think you've heard correctly. I feel the same. Like, I'm convinced Dorinda even lived in that apartment, her new apartment, for free for a, a period of time. I know, you were telling me that. Well, because, listen, you post, and that's also what I've heard. I mean, do I know that for a fact? No. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm allegedly. Not, allegedly. But, I mean, other people have said it that are more mm -hmm. in the know than me. And I think well, I mean, if they're posting a lot of stories she and posted, they're tagging I'm in my, it, I'm in my bath at the. So Frinda, then, why, my, why else? Because right. I mean, that's private. I mean, right? Why would you show people your home if there's not a? And I you think know, Ramona got a deal too. I mean, they both rent now. I think Ramona, because Ramona posted, mm -hmm. Ramona's right in the backyard of where I hang all the time. Oh, now. really? Yeah. yeah. Where is her apartment? Midtown. Like sixty. Oh, in yeah, 60s. like sixty. I know the building. Mm -hmm. I'm friends with someone who's. Good I saw the with views. I mean, yeah, I saw her stories. They were Listen, like crazy. My life on the Upper East Side, my newfound life on the Upper East Side, is so intertwined with Housewives. And oh the, well, your new hangout that I can't even. That's literally Sonica. That we're. I have to do a whole show on that because wow. it's like right. I'm friends with now spouse ex spouses of Housewives and best friends of House. Like I've. Somehow I've fallen into the New York scene with wow. the Housewives. But that is another show. But, yeah, I think they get a lot for free. And I don't think they get the clothes for free. But, no. I mean, so that's the thing. So to my point, like, right, if you're a good client personally, to me, that rules out the entire Jersey cast, the entire mm -hmm. Potomac cast, the entire New York cast. Who on New York, other than Tins? Is wearing this? I mean, which well, or Bethany Frankel? I mean, she was always yes. draw. I mean, she was always. Okay. I always saw her in a lot of good, like really. Bethany, yes, but it really to me comes down to Erica and Dorit. Okay, yeah. I Maybe. mean, I think Erica could go to a bunch of shows, mm -hmm. and I would think Dorit. The numbers don't add up with my girl. I don't. I don't know. You don't think? I mean, I'm. I'm thinking of that whole cast, even like well, Kyle, Rena. Kyle Richards. I, I guess Kyle. I think so, too. Yeah, I guess Kyle. I don't know. I feel like those girls, because they're Beverly Hills, they definitely would Maybe. get more access. Well, Sutton. Sutton is major. The new Sutton. The new? Who's, yeah, she's major in fashion. Is she? Yeah. And you know who? Nolan, our good friend Nolan, uh -huh. was telling me that Sutton's like a bigger deal than I even think. Wow. Yeah. She's like, I mean, she has her store, but she's like, I think she's major. Like, she does like Paris Fashion Week and like... Well, I have to say, She's I've been invited connected. to go to Paris. I just really? have it. Yeah, I've been invited to go to Paris Fashion Week for like two or three shows. Isn't it like now? Yeah. Like, well, right I mean, now, I, I, now I is know you're London. Not there this year. No, no, London. And then I think. Oh, London. That's what it is. Which would be very cool to go to. It's yeah. A whole different genre, street style. And then it goes to Paris and then Milan, I believe. Interesting. Yeah, no, I, um, I want to like, I got to figure it out. So I don't know, like, do I want to go in the winter or in the fall when the weather is a little nicer? Huh. We might have to send you uh, the Behind the Velvet Rope podcast might have to send you uh, as our special, you know, I mean, you yeah. are a special style con con consultant. Oh, I would love now. to. You might have to go over there and sniff out some Bravo, the ladies of London, Miss Stansberry. Oh. Yeah. I would love to meet her. I, Yeah. I follow her. She's getting divorced, right? Is she? You know, I have this weird... Is this the one... Sta is she the one that went to Dubai? Yeah. Yeah. Holy fuck. I know. She was, like, married, like, 17... I was, like, heartbroken. She had a really good-looking husband, beautiful family, and they said they were calling it quits. I have a funny story about her. Let me see if I could pull it up in my Instagram. The last time she was... This is, like, way back when she was in town. I mean, we're going way back. Mm -hmm. She... I, because, you know, this is, people are like, how do you know all these women? I mean, there's a lot of, there's a lot of ways that I know them all. But sometimes I just reach out. Like, mm -hmm. I just will DM someone. Right. You and know? you know what? And like let me tell you. Like my new BFF, well, my new BFF, Elise Lane from New York, we kept running into, we were like, we've become friends. We hang wow. out all the time now. That's so nice. So it's just, but the ones that don't live in New York, 
sometimes you just DM and a lot of people will write back. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I found it for the listeners. The last time Carolyn Stansberry was in town, or the last time I, she was on my mm -hmm. radar, was August 11th, 2018. Okay, she's been here since then, but this is mm -hmm. like, I wrote to her. I, I've, I've never spoken to a woman in my life before. I right. wrote to her. Welcome back to NYC. We heart you here. Ladies of London gives me life. And of Ooh. course I have to spell life L-Y-F-E. That was at 12.07, August 11th, 2018. At 12.33, not even half an hour later, she writes me back, thank you, heart. Wow. Now, of course I knew where she was staying because that's, this <laughs> that's is behind. That's what you do. <laughs> this is right. This is behind the velvet rope. Like when I'm not behind the velvet rope, I figure it out. So after she says thank you 30 minutes later, I guess I didn't check my DMs. At 6.17, I write to her, any time for a two-sec hello will come to the St. Regis whenever works for you. Saying a two-second hello to you would be hashtag everything and make me a very happy woman. L-O-L dot dot dot. Well, Miss Stansberry never responded to oh, that. Oh, God. She was probably like, what? you know my hotel and you want to say hello? Yeah, I did. I, I, oh, did you? So she was probably then like. I, I don't know. She didn't write back. Right. She might have been like, that's okay. She might be like, you're a crazy stalker. Right. And you belong on that side of the velvet rope, not on this one with me. <laughs> so there you go. Look at who, who knew we'd be talking about Miss Stansberry. I know. All right. That's so weird. This How is, random. This is what happens here behind the velvet rope. We, we, we get a little off track sometimes, and that's okay. Um, okay, so Fashion Week. So when did it officially start? Was it that Thursday? It was Thursday, I believe, the 6th. I think so. So the day that it started started I actually couldn't go to a fashion show because I was at my second of two in the week Jessica Simpson book signings and that was in Jersey that was in Jersey the first one was in New York mm -hmm. and the second one the first one it, it, both of them had the first one had about 1100 people right and the second one they were supposed to sell a thousand I mean mind you there's book signings all the time that don't mm -hmm. sell out like right. 40 people Jessica sold out that book is number one and is going to be there for a long time really yeah because in New Jersey there were supposed to be a thousand people and I guess she needed to leave earlier so they cut it off at 800 but it, it sold out there were 800 people in Ridgewood New Jersey waiting oh for yeah her. bookends that's Bo a great it's a, store it's that a, that li that little niche oh my god they get so many things who would think in Ridgewood New Jersey the people that go there it's crazy it's amazing that's a great bookstore. It's and it's amazing. nice to see that we still have that because with everything online. It's, it's yes. Yes and yes. I think they are able to exist because they have these They do that. Come. They have a mate. If you were to ask them who they've had come through there, I mean, from politicians to celebrity, I mean, who's who? Before they were the Ks. I mean, as they were rising up, they had Kendall and Kylie there way back. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't go. Do you know that I would I think Kris literally... Jenner might have even been there. Uh, I mean, like, I mean, like, seriously, like. A lot of people. I would. I. I can't. Like. I would. I want pictures. And like, that's like my backyard. I'm in Ridgewood every day. Like it's ten minutes away, and I. I don't utilize that. It's crazy. It's a really cute town. It is. No, it is a great town. But I mean, I don't. I don't go to those book things. You, you know? need to come. That's how I met. Do you know the first time I met Kim D was in line at book signing for Erica Jane. Are that's you how, serious? Yeah. Kim was waiting in line. They pulled her out and put her in the front of the line. Because they're like, you know, it's New Jersey, you're royalty. Mm -hmm. And I remember when she was coming. So so then I guess you're relatively pretty close with Kim because that wasn't too long ago. Like what, within the last two years maybe? When did Maybe Eric like get... three. Is it three? Yeah, I think I'm trying to think that's what, that's the, yeah, that's the first time I met Kim. Wow. Yeah, Kim and I fell fast. We fell in love fast. <laughs> it was like love. Love at Listen, first Kim's a tough cookie to crack. In the inner circle of Kim's group that I'm now in, doesn't let people in so easily. But I worked my way in. Wow. Yeah, I had to lay a couple seeds, but we, we kind of fell fast for each other. But Bookends is great. So I was at, so the Jessica Simpson book, I haven't started it yet. Mm -hmm. You know what it is? I go to all these book signings. I am so busy. I'm so far behind on TV. I don't know when I'm going to read, but I am going to read all these books or at least do them on audio. Right, right. But, I mean, it's good. So there was a million people. I ran into all sorts of people that I know. 
I met some new friends, some new stray dogs. Do you okay. know that that's what I say? That That's what I call everyone. I call them oh. stray dogs. It's not a negative. Like, I just pick these people up wherever I go, oh, and yeah. then they kind of become friends. And, and then you become friends with them. And they're like stray dogs. Mm-hmm. That's what I refer to them as. But they're, it's not an insult. Like, it's not like the dirty stray dog in the corner <clears throat> right, with right, rickets. Right, right. It's like a nice stray dog. Like, Dolores is like, all, all her dogs are like, stra- most of them are strays. I know. And aren't they great dogs? Cuties. Cuties. I love, I love her dogs. They're so well behaved. They're well behaved. I'm Super. not a dog person. I mean, they don't like bark at me when I go there, they don't jump on me. My dogs do all that. <laughs> and they're like, they. Do you have small dogs? I have a smaller dog and a big dog. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's what I did. It was great. And then the highlight of that book signing is all of a sudden somebody walks in. I mean, they're not waiting in line. Miss Angelina from Jersey Shore. She's a Jessica Simpson fan. Yeah, she was there with her fiance. Did people recognize her? Because she's been kind of out of the limelight for oh. a while. Uh, people went insane. Really? Yes. People went insane for her. She got her picture with Jessica. And this was a family affair. There was no Ashley, but for Jessica, she brought her to both book signings, her mother, her husband, the kids, and Papa Joe. I, I got a picture wow. with Papa Joe. Who's out. I didn't realize he was out now. Everyone says he's out. I mean, if he wasn't out, this the day I got a picture with him, he mm-hmm. was in Gucci but it was like a Gucci animal print shirt and like a satin, like this jacket was like so gay. I mean, I I would wear it, but I mean, I was like, I guess he's just out and proud now. And someone's like, yeah, he's been out for a while. Really? I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. So that was it. Great. So Jessica Simpson was, and she's, believe it or not, she was really nice. Really nice. You know, I saw her post the day that Kobe passed. Oh, really? I didn't well, even... because she lives in Calabasas. Mm. And if you go on her Instagram, she posts this beautiful, it apparently was like a cloudy day. And you could see kind of like the sun, you know, like the rays, like, you know, yeah. like and she's like, it almost looked like, you know, like they're in heaven kind of thing. It was really, oh, I wow. was like and teary eyed. It was really sweet. That is teary eyed. So I couldn't go to that. Okay. So then, and you didn't do, now the next night, you had something. So that Friday. So, so well, that Thursday, I went, well, that Thursday, I was in the city. I went to the uh, Tadashi Shoji show. Oh, well, that's major. That's a major show. That's, that's a major, major show. Um, and his Any... collection, I didn't, you know, off. Normally, I'll see like some major people if they were there. I didn't really see them. That's the other. I have to tell you, I. That's the other thing. I'm convinced the fall September fashion mm-hmm. week is the one that. Oh yeah, I think that's the one people had, come out to. Nobody was out for this. No. Ramona was in London. Dorinda was away for most of it. Luann was it's like nobody was here yeah no norm yeah I don't I don't think I really saw I mean not even that I would run into them but I don't like think I saw on social media and Kyle Kyle was here but Kyle was here for her new brand working at the Javits Center she had a booth so oh, she did didn't she? even her... well oh my god wait do you know you're talking about Kyle Richards yeah right? her ne- daughter no well her daughter walked yes but she didn't even go for, for her godson he has a collection I was invited to that show that was Friday night what's the name of that well is that it, I was I it was that's, under that's Oxford the gay it was godson, yes right? it was under Oxford fashion which had like they were representing that night I don't know maybe between five and seven emerging designers. It was at it was down at Pier Fifty Nine. He was one of them. And doesn't he do like the colored furs? Like that yes. was it was featured on the show. Yes, with something with that and red jacket. I was, and Lisa I was that. It was a seven o'clock show, but I I couldn't make it. I wonder if Kyle went to that because no, didn't go, she didn't. No. She didn't. You know why I know that? Because I then I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe I missed this show. And then I went on to Kyle's. Instagram and she gave a shout out to her daughter, but you didn't see her there. Yeah. So she wasn't there. I heard she didn't go. Um, so Tadashi Soji and it wasn't even busy. Okay. So then Friday, did you do anything? No, I didn't Friday. do anything Friday. I could have gone to that show, but I didn't. So then I came in because I was coming back in on Saturday and I did two shows and they were so spread apart that, you know, 
I know for people on the outside, they're like, oh, my God, I want to come to Fashion Week. Like, they, they would do anything. But when you're in it, it can be very exhausting. Um, I and could... I'm doing it looking for clothing for clients and looking at designers. It's I'm looking at it from a different perspective. No, you are. And I will. It, it, yes, it was very exhausting. I couldn't wait for it to be over. And so my New Year's resolution is Jomo, not FOMO, mm-hmm. joy of missing out. Right. And I cannot clone myself. And until genetic no. cloning happens... So, but I made, yes, and there's so much happening at once. I actually made a lot of bad decisions where I'm like at one thing and I'm like, all right, well, I wish I went to something else, which is kind of the mere definition of FOMO. (laughs) So I'm not going to beat myself up. But yeah, I I get it. It really is exhausting. Friday night, I, Friday night I had a show, but I don't remember which show it is. So I guess I didn't really miss out on much, but I remember at the time I felt like I did because Kim D invited mm-hmm. me to a show with her because oh. she's friends with this person. So I went to the show. Like, I didn't ask questions. Kim mm-hmm. is like, let's just have a night out. We'll right, have a right. few drinks. And so I get there, and it turns out that it is a children's show. <laughs> oh, yes. It's like a sh- it just kind of like what you described about the emerging designers. Right. And this was a showcase of children designers but Kim is really good friends with this woman, Susanna. And I didn't know any of this until I got there. But it turns out that Susanna and her daughter, Isabella Barrett, they are from Toddlers in Tierras. Oh. So, of course, I had to get some pictures with them because we know I love my pictures. Yes. So we're not talking Honey Boo Boo or Mama June, but they were they were on Toddlers in Tierras. This, so this girl, it's like House of Bretty. But it was like a children's suit. This girl is like, first of all, I walk in and I have on my Cartier Juice Seclude, the nail bracelet. Oh. And yes, you, Sonica has one. She's showing me. I She has one on today. <laughs> and you have the I love have bracelet. The love. I, yeah. I, 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 I love Cartier. And I, within two seconds, this girl is like, oh, my God. Like, literally, it doesn't even introduce herself. Pulls up my sleeve and is like, mom, mom. And she's like, this is the bracelet I want. The mother was not at all impressed with her request for the Cartier oh, really? nail bracelet. But this girl, I mean, first of all, I mean, she was on Toddlers and Terror. She is drop-dead gorgeous. So I was like, after a while, I was like, Kim, like, what? Is she, like, 17, 18, mm-hmm. 19? Kim is like, she's 13. What? I'm like, yeah. These kids, these girls, and there was boys too, but these girls were, I mean, they're all drop dead, gorgeous. They all seem like they were like 18 wow. or 19. Kim's like, they're all like 13 or 14. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I have a little something about that. You're not going to put your daughter in toddlers Well, my da- I mean, well, my daughter's past that age, way past that. But, you know, there's a, they're only small for so long. Like, why yeah. do you want to push them? I don't get that, you know? This was, I mean, this was, I mean, she has a, she had a whole fashion line. It was like a real, it was a little Chanel-y for my taste. Mm -hmm. It was literally like dressed up clothing for girls. Okay. But then like we sat down, so like we had the front row and like, you know what it is? It's kind of like, which like, this is a good thing. It's kind of like you forget when you're friends with someone how big a deal they possibly are to like the outside world. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. It sometimes. So like all I know is freaking not guest of a guest who is but um wire images, like all of that. They yes. run over, they're taking a thousand pictures of Kim and I'm just like, oh yeah. I know. Uh, like well, people want pictures of Kim. Well it's like, funny. I no, I, mean, I know I, I know what you're saying because I was just having this conversation with a friend of mine the other day, like Dolores, you know, I don't think anything of it. Right. And everybody wants to come, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I do. And, and I mean, you... I'm, I'm like, fine with it, but it's just, you know, she gets stopped. I mean. Yeah, like, if you're going to hang out with Dolores in New Jersey or New York, no, you're you, going to get stopped. Yeah, like, and and that's fine. You know what I mean? You have, yeah. to, you have to appreciate it for what it is. Well, because... honey, like, I mean, yeah. Yeah, no, that's how it is. That's how it is. Like, that's why when, like, Margaret is like, come away with us for the weekend. Like, I'm always excited, but Mm -hmm. I know that, like... Like, you know you're going to be on the sidelines because they're going to be, you know, I mean, first, which was really nice, these women that we're just mentioning, they're a super people person because I have also met people on TV who are nothing that, and they don't talk to their... No, they don't. 
to, to their you know fans, and that they is don't. sad. I think it is. I mean, when people want a picture with me, which believe it or not, it does happen, Sonica. Well, you I know it, believe it. It happens. It doesn't necess- It happens in the IRL, in the real world, mm-hmm. but it oh, happens a lot at Bravo events. Like I went to see Bitch Sesh, you know, which was like a pod with kids, Casey Wilson and Danielle Schneider. Okay. I went with like Lori Cooper, who I'm really good friends with now. She's Dorinda's realtor. But like regardless of that, there were people there that like listened to my podcast and wanted a picture. So it's like it happens. I would never, ever say no to someone who wants a picture. Yeah, why not? I think it's I mean, so listen, rude. If, it's if, so rude. If, listen, if it's not taking away from your something very important, why not? Exactly. I mean, listen, I'll give you a quick story. I met Justin Bieber in Beverly Hills. Excuse me? Uh, yeah. Wait, I, I actually even touched his forearm. I did Soul Cycle. Do you know that I think he is so unbelievable? Like, he's my type. Like, is okay, he, too? I don't... Yeah, I mean... Okay, physically, if someone said like, I mean, I have a very broad type, but like, mm-hmm. I would always like a well, he's a like I, okay, he's kind of like he's thin, like uh, okay, but the sign difference, me up. the difference between him and Christian though, he's taller than yeah. Than Christian. Do you know who I have the same type? A hundred percent, I have the same type as. Mm-hmm. I'm not even joking. Harry Dubin, who's become a close friend of mine. Are my, you serious? Well, he's straight, but he he likes a lot of different types. But his main, t- if someone like gun to the head, he would say very, very thin and blonde. And that's kind of my type. Okay. I feel like you can never be. And then you add some fucking ink. You oh, ink your God. shit up. Well, when I oh. saw him, he he had he was more brunette. But I have to say, so it was just me, him, and a friend. I was we both left Soul Psych like our class, the warm up, and I had no idea he was even there. And I'm looking for my bag, and I lift up, and he's he's standing right there. So I'm like, oh, my God, my kids are going to die if I don't get a picture with him. So I grab my phone. I come back. I touch him on the forearm. And I'm like, Justin, would you take a picture with me? He declined. But I have to say, he was so polite. What did he say? I'm he, just. He was like, I'm sorry, but not at this, you know, not right now. And I was like, you know, listen. I'm shocked you touched his arm without being thrown to the ground. No. Yeah. Because he, I mean, he, he, had, he had his back to yeah. me. No, but we oh. were like, you know, the locker, like think, you know, like Soul Cycle, you know, or any type of gym, you know, they have lockers. Yeah. And he was talking, his friend was, his friend was facing me and I just tapped him and, you know, I could be his mom. <laughs> But still, and and that's why I mean I could have been I have friends. Wait, I have friends who would do the creepy thing and like just start snapping selfies. But I wasn't going to. I mean, he was so polite, and I uh, that was a great takeaway. That's nice. I have to say, you know, I mean, I'm, you know, I I wish he had taken the picture for my kids because they like my son, who's like his age, loves him. Oh my god, that's a good sighting. That. That's but. that's a good sighting. Um, what was I gonna say? So okay, so Saturday night, Saturday you went to a show. Was this the day you were with Deandra? Yes, I was with Deandra. Yeah. So we. So um, tell us about Saturday. So I went to the Hakan show, which I want to give a shout out to the Bromley group because they invited me, and it was really it was a great show. That's amazing. Yeah, and it was, Miss Deandra was there. Yeah, I mean so, I know you ran into some <clears throat> other people. They're all wonderful yes, and fabulous right, too. Right, we right, don't need right. to even. And I met those, and I, and I had met some of those people like the day before. Yeah, and I'm not saying let's not talk about them, but like this audience just wants to hear about Deandra. So yeah, so then she wait can i tell you so tell i so we go outside i'm with nolan right yes. we go outside we're taking pictures and deandra like i really had it's crazy because we both follow each other on instagram but we never really formally met and she comes up to me and my fly on my pants was like oh unbuttoned and she's like oh let, you know fix your pants now she's like coming up to a stranger and like like how sweet was that listen she's one of my that i'm friends with that she's was, very nice. That was like, and then I look up and she's like, and I'm like, Deandra? Because she looked fabulous. I mean. She, there were a couple, so listen, Deandra. And her hair was up. She has bangs now. It, yeah, I just saw her two weeks ago. I was out till five o'clock in the morning, completely drunk off my ass. So she was so sweet, beautiful and then she got in mad person. At me. I mean, she got, she got mad at me for a minute. Cause I, like, I mean, she didn't like the video I posted on Instagram. She said that we were drunk. And she's uh, like, why'd you post a drunk video of me? I'm like why were you in it <laughs> like it's not my fault you got drunk but right. i mean she's over that we're still friends she just okay um okay so she, listen she came to fashion week and i don't mean this as an insult she came to fashion week 
to troll Fashion Week. Like she had an agenda. We talked well, about listen, all these. Well, listen, she. Well, I'll she, tell you, she, she did, made her mark because did you mark. see on Bravo? No. They did a little write up. Yes, I did on her like that. She was on point with her hair, and I mean, she really did put in time and effort every day. That's what I she mean. She had hair and makeup people come to her, so yeah, she deserved that little encore, you know, at the she, end. She, yes, 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 and yes. A, she came in with a hardcore agenda, which, listen, I mean, this is behind the velvet rope. I mm-hmm. just told you about Carolyn Stansberry. I'm right. saying, when I'm not behind the velvet rope, I got an agenda too, so I, I appreciate a girl with an right. agenda. Right, right, I think the difference between me and all these other people is I fucking own my agenda, mm-hmm. and I'm, like, in your face about it, and I'm like, uh, you know, I'm not so fabulous today. I'm, like, begging in the street, but... She came with an agenda, and she put in the work. She did. There were she had hair and makeup people every day. Yeah, there were days she was definitely on point. I mm-hmm. would agree. Like some of the looks, I was like, "This is like the best I've ever seen you." Right. Like when I yeah no, she looked really great. She looked great. And um, so yeah, so I met her, and then any highlights that day with her. So and then because we I went, wasn't there. Yeah. So then so then after that show. I don't know. It might have been like two, two-ish, and we both had a show at six o'clock. So myself, Deandra, and Amy, we all went and had lunch. Where'd you have lunch? We ended up Fig and Olive. Okay. Mm-hmm. Did anyone have drinks? Yeah, we were drinking tequila. Because Amy and Deandra are drinkers. Uh, I again. am too. I mean, I can have a are drink you? here I don't and there. Think of you as... I, I mean, I'm not as crazy of a drinker, but yeah. I can have a couple of okay. cocktails. I mean. We are not going to get into it right now, but the other night when I saw you, you had cocktails. I did. And you kept saying you weren't, like, drunk. <laughs> I was trying to. And then, like, okay, like, the next morning. And I'm like, what? I, I wasn't happy. I was like, I'm not drunk. But then, like, I guess I kind of got drunk. Well, that's a whole nother story. I don't even think we're going to have time to. That's going to be a whole nother. Yeah, that was the Kim D fashion show. Yeah. That, and that was, like, we'll we ended fashion week with that, actually. Like, I wanted to talk about that today, but I don't think we're going to have time. So no. any hi- so so they were drinking. Yeah, so we, no, I mean, but we, I mean, any but it wasn't like. Any highlights with any drama, no, anything exciting? No, no drama. I mean, Any she, funny moments? She was, you know, she's just a really lovely person, you know, just telling me, you know, I mean, it's really sad, her relationship with Leanne. Yes. She, they are not friends anymore. No, and she talk, and she, every time I see her, she talks about it. And talking about getting free stuff, she was like, everything that woman gets is free. She's like, yeah. I have, she goes, I pay for everything. She was telling me she paid for her hair and makeup while yeah, she was here she in the did. city. No, I think the girls haven't, no, the girls don't get designers. I think the girls haven't paid for, I mean, I don't know about, I mean, I mean when I went out with Deandra to dinner, we had to pay. Mm-hmm. But I've been out with Yeah, like, when we went out, we put in yeah, three credit cards. Thing. Like, you know what I mean? I went to dinner with Deandra, and it, we all had a pay. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of the girls get, like, free lunch. Like, I don't know. Every time I'm, like, out with, like, Melissa or Margaret, they get a lot of free shit. Oh, do they? Yeah. But, um, so that's the, you had a, that was the day I was like, oh, you're with Deandra. I was Yeah, out, no, like, I have to say, I mean, we, we kind of bonded. She's, nice. she's super, super sweet. And... You know, she was just cr- crazy hectic, but she um, messaged me and she was like, it was so great, m- you know, meeting you and hanging out. So it was really lovely. That's nice. I was out of town for a different Bravo event, which we cannot talk about just yet. It took me out of town for the day. That's why I couldn't be there. But then at night I had a show through Cindy, the PR woman that you met at the oh. other show. She got me oh, in. Oh, yes. I but met her. she got me in to uh, Zhang Toy. Oh my god! That's I've a been, fucking. I'm sorry. I've, that's major. I, no, no. I've been to Zhang Toy. Oh my Twi, god. T O I. How I do say I say? To- I mean, I say toy. <laughs> toy. I've been to his show. I didn't go this year. I didn't get invited this year. But I have been. I think I went last year. His shows are. I can't. Beautiful and, well, I mean, when was it? Last year, I was like, his show literally started an hour later, and you know why? Why? Because Tiffany Trump hadn't gotten there. Okay. Well. That's what I was just going to say. I didn't realize this, but he dresses. I think he dresses the White House. Probably. He has, he like has some Melania. relationship with Melania and or Ivanka. So <clears throat> I didn't know this. I, it's neither here nor there. This is not a political podcast, people. So right, stop right, the right. DMs yeah, yeah, before yeah, they yeah, even yeah, come yeah, in. Exactly. People can be pro-Trump or anti-Trump. 
that is your own business. Right, right. But I mean, and he's an in amazing America. fashion he's designer. Amazing. And he has a relationship with the, pre- the Hawaii. Right. House, I mean, that's so. just who he dresses. And that. But you're yeah. right about Tiffany. So I. Yeah. There, so that was kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie to you. We'll the, get yeah, this. actually, it was last February. Now, it was exact. So it wasn't the show, it was last year. But get, so to your point, talk about all these shows no one's at. This show, first of all. Oh, yeah. You were dying. You're texting. Me. I mean, okay, listen. First of all, in walks fucking Rudy Giuliani. And I don't care if you're Democrat, if you're Republican, I don't give a shit. If you've lived in New York City. Listen, he cleaned up the when he, he cleaned when 9/11, up this fucking city. Oh my God. So to me, that is if like it's just Yeah, no. I mean that's exactly so here's the thing. So I'm with Cindy as her plus one oh. with the PR. So Cindy's like because Cindy's big into politics. Yes. So I saw Cindy's, that on her yeah, Instagram. Into, I didn't realize so that. So she's like David, no, no, no. Rudy Giuliani isn't over there. He's in our party. I'm like, what do you mean in our party? She's like, we're going backstage. Rudy is sitting with us. I'm like, what? Oh, my God. So he comes wow. right over to us. I know. Like, literally, this one, I was I was second row. I was supposed to be first row, but then he just, I'm like, okay, well, I'll yeah, give whatever. up my first row seats for Rudy Giuliani. So it was like him. I don't know who this woman was. I'm not going to speculate. He was with some woman, and then like me and Cindy. Yeah. Wow. So like he was literally. I have to check the. I have. To, I haven't had a chance to check. Um, mm-hmm. like wire image. So of course every fucking paparazzi ran over. Of course. And I never do this because I hate when people do this for me. But I fucking did it. <laughs> As he was, I mean, he was literally sitting in front of me. Yeah, you had. As to. he was getting his picture taken, I looked into every lens possible so i haven't checked daily oh, image oh my god i think i might be you might in be in pictures. some pictures one woman made like a, a face but it was like a friendly face and i'm uh-huh. like are you nodding to me like yeah man you photobomb good for you yeah yeah, yeah. or are you or looking at me like off? i i couldn't tell well, but i didn't cares? care i i didn't care you I gotta do what you gotta do i that was like a desperate moment and then like i said to like this woman who was sitting next to me who was with him I said, listen, I'm so sorry. And she's like, oh, he, stand up. Go, 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 go get Because everyone was coming over to him like and being like, you know, just mad respect. But no one was asking for a picture. I got my fucking picture with Rudy Giuliani. Well, good for you. That was fucking amazing. No, no. He's, he's, yeah. But then backstage, who was backstage after the show? Well, first of all, the whole show was a love, an ode to New York. It was like New York, I love you. Oh, it was, my. was unbelievable. Um, was um, one of Trump's sons, um, his girlfriend? She, I can't think. Mm, I of don't her think name. she was there. Okay, or maybe. But you I don't know think. who I'm talking about. Yeah, right? I don't know if she was there, but I know backstage. So backstage, you know, me, you know me. All I care about is my damn pictures. So. Rudy Giuliani, I was thrilled with it, but backstage, I got Dr. Ruth, who I met before. I got a picture with her. Oh, my God. Is she, like, like she's, she's really old, right? She's old, and I had to get on, like, on my knees. Like, she's, you know, she's really short. Yeah. I, I have a Wait, did she, with... was she in a walker? No, no she was fine. But it was, okay. No, but she could, it wasn't, like, so okay. I got a, yeah, she couldn't really walk. I got a picture with her, Carol Alt. <clears throat> oh, I, I. That's one of Zang's models. I have models. a picture She's Carol amazing. All is really good friends with um, a friend of mine who's a fashion photographer, and he has a magazine here in New York City. Um, she models for him, I, so I've been in her presence. Oh, wow. She is stunning. Uh, gorgeous. So nice. Then I got a picture with Chaz Dean, who I've met 700 times. Oh, who, did you? Sorry, that's related to Bravo. I, and I always talk about Jeff Lewis when I see him. I'm always like, how's Jeff? Chaz Dean is... is he's the godfather, isn't he, to their son? Yeah, yeah. To the daughter, I mean Monroe. Daughter. It's, oh. Listen, Sonic, it's okay. We all make mistakes here. I know it's a girl, but it's a boy name, so you know what I mean. Yeah. That's why I Monroe. got Monroe. And then, well, and then I got a picture with Zhang Toy. Oh my god! He was doing interviews, and Cindy was like, "You need to go on David's podcast." He was like, "Whatever." Like they're oh, very he good w- friends. Wait, can I tell you? Because I, so I'm also a fashion writer. I write for different publications. He'll do and- it. And um, a friend of mine who owns a uh, magazine, he he always does an interview with him before backstage, right before the show. Huh. All right. Maybe I'll get him. He's on very. There. Yeah. No, he's very cool like that. He was cool. And then <coughs> my second favorite thing of the day, my picture with Miss Marla Maples, which yes, I think is goes, a big deal. Mm-hmm. I love her. Now, wait, what? That was Saturday. That was Saturday. OK. What time was his show? Six. And was that at Spring Studios? Chelsea Piers, Pier 59 okay. Studios. So you know what? A lot of those people. So that Saturday night, so after I did Hakan with 
Deandra and we went out to lunch, we were going back to Spring Studios to see Chiara Le Bon Petit. She's an Italian designer. She is amazing. And she also has a thing, I think, with the White House. Because really? all those people that you're talking about tend to go to her show. But I noticed they were not there. A lot of people. And so then... <clears throat> so they probably... And her show started, like, technically six. It probably oh my God, started. Wait. So they probably Poter, couldn't make... Kiara. Oh, sorry. C H I R A. <laughs> Guys, I'm doing I'm doing like two things at once. I'm trying. This is how I'm remembering what I am looking through my pictures. Oh. Yeah. I what did I do after that? Oh, I, I met like an IRL friend for like a drink. And mm -hmm. then I was like, you Yeah. Were well, she wasn't a housewife. She wasn't related to Bravo. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, <sighs> one of my New Year's, my other New Year's resolution is to try to have more time for my like real friends. And, like, it's not working out really well. I just get bored, you know? Yeah. I'm a horrible person. So I went home, and I'm like, I can't waste the, the brain cells being out with you. I love you, your family, but no thanks. <laughs> um, so then Sunday I did nothing. Which you should have gone to that show later in the day. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. That Let's was talk Sunday. about it. Let's talk about it, guys. Okay. So, he, oh, no. S Sunday night. Okay. Sunday night. It was a 5 o'clock show. I was at an Oscars party. Oh. But I should have gone to the show. So Dennis Basso, who's a big name to begin with. And you told me you were invited to that. And I, I said, you better go. It's a because hard he, invite. He is, did I not tell you? I go, he was strong on the red carpet, like for these award shows. Well, let me tell you why I didn't go. I went to an Oscars party with... Well, not, well, with, yeah, with Harry Dubin, but Ramona was there, too. Oh, she was. Guess how many people were at this Oscars party with Harry Dubin and Ramona? I'm not sure. Of like, nobody. Is. Nobody. And here's the thing. <coughs> I can hang out with Harry any night now. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we talk all the time. Mm -hmm. So, but I didn't go to Dennis Basso, and I'm like, because you know what it is? The shows last for, like, 20 minutes. Well, that's the thing. So for you to get... Run yeah. down to wherever the location is. Well, I was invited to that show at the last minute. I did not want to go. Oh, and, yeah, you told me. And I was in Jersey. You had to get ready right away. I couldn't. I, I mean, I can, I, can, I can get here with no traffic, like, within 40 minutes. Oh but, I mean, I, there was no way, call me at 4, you have a ticket to be there for a 5 o'clock show. Now, granted, they don't start on time, but still, the pressure, I, I couldn't do it. Well... Uh, yeah, and I was just like, let me go hang with my buddy Harry, and there was the Singa Stinga, but you know what? Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be anything big, and, and then, then you the find out. Well, the two daughters, the two the the two Rinna Hamlin daughters are walking in the show, and the show closes with the fucking queen. Miss Rinna. I know who is my actual favorite housewife of all time. I've decided. You love her. It's strange. Like I love the singer Stinger, and I also hate her. I love mm -hmm. EJ. I love Dorit. Elise is now my BFF, which is going to lead to me being BFFs with Leah. Rinna is a different category because I love Melrose fucking place. Oh my god! And yes, she's from Days of Our Lives, but it doesn't matter. She's Taylor McBride <laughs> from Melrose Place, and so to me, she was an actress that I actually loved. Right? Before, yeah, no, of course. Which before I the whole right, which I never loved. Like Denise Richards, I have nothing against her, but I never was like into the movies that she was in. Like right. Rinna was like. It'd be like if Heather Locklear and like Nicole. Can I tell you? Nicolette I Sheridan. still have it. I well, I mean, Rena still keeps that hairstyle, but whatever. What twenty five years you had ago? It? Yeah. Oh my gosh! I was like, I need this haircut. I love it. You you needed the haircut. I'm trying to see what else I did to tell you the truth. Did I do anything else? I'm just looking through my pictures. I was at the Regency every other night. <laughs> oh, so okay. So what else did you? I have one other. The next event I had was with Dolores, but that wasn't until Thursday. Okay. I did nothing else really for Fashion Week. Oh, another. See, this is what I mean about mm -hmm. missing out. So get this. So Frederick Anderson. Okay. Now, the designer. Uh, let me tell you how good this Regency has been for me and my Upper East Side life. It's good for all of you listeners because we have lots of stuff coming. But this designer, I mean, everyone's like, it's like everyone's friends there. So this designer, Frederick Anderson, I met at the Regency. So I know him. So I was invited to his show at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. 
I had plans that same night for drinks with Elise Slane, the new friend of mm-hmm. Unreal Housewives, and I was running around that day. Believe it or not, guys, the Behind the Velvet Rope podcast doesn't just happen by me waking up and being beautiful. <laughs> so I actually was doing work for right. all of my listeners who at the end of the day, I care about you listeners more than like anyone, really. I, I, I really do. Yeah, I know you do. I yeah. mean, that's what I'm here for. I'm doing the Lord's work, Sonica. I know you are. You know that? I mean, come on. It's not always easy, and it's not always fun. No, I I get it. When the singer stinger is, like, screaming in your face. (laughs) So, but I'm willing to take one for the team. So I was really actually working and stressed out, and I had plans with Elise at night. That I was The show was at 12 o'clock, and it was up near the Regency. And, again, it's not that far away. Mm -hmm. But it was far enough that I was like, I just can't make it. So I canceled at the last minute because I'm like, Who's going to Frederick Anderson's right. show? I was in his house. Like, I fell asleep on his <clears throat> couch like two weeks ago right. when he had a party. So I look at the fucking pictures. Everyone in my group from was the Regency there? that went. No, I mean, I like knew all. They, they, I oh. knew they were going. They have a fucking picture with Kelly Ben Simone. Oh. And they fucking know Kelly. I yeah. Mean, that would have been a nice hookup. Yeah. And I've already said that. And down, she's beautiful. She is. I'm. I've. I've. How old is I've, Kelly? I've interviewed her before. She's in her forties too. If I had to take a guess, I would say I'm just guessing. I mean, I don't really feel like looking it up. Um, I feel like forty seven, forty eight. Yeah, no, right? no. I mean, she's beautiful. I, I mean, she doesn't look that age at all. Listen, I interviewed her. She was sitting this close to me, and I literally just couldn't believe what I was looking at. She's, she's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. She's stunning. Is stunning, mm-hmm. stunning. I loved stunning. when she was on the show. I kind of missed her. Scary Island. I kind of miss her. Yeah, I kind of miss her. Well, you know, she's a real estate agent. Oh, really? Yeah. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna have to do. You might have to come with me. Okay. I'm gonna have to go and look at apartments and go to like the the Steve Gold and like the Kelly Benson on listings. Oh. Yeah, but you know what the problem is? You never know if you're gonna get them or right. You might be getting. Yeah. Because you know what it is? They're so busy. Yeah, especially Steve. And unless you are a high profile client. Yeah. They may not want to take the time from their busy schedule to come and meet with you, and that's why they're gonna send their protege to come and see you. Yes, yes, and yes to all of that. Exactly. But, I mean, it wasn't like Kelly was in a picture with someone I kind of know. Like, these people I'm friends with at the Regency have some major connections here. They were all in a picture with her. And then, like, my friend was like, yeah, I'm, like, really good friends with Kelly. Wow. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. So uh, there you go again. But, again, Jomo, not FOMO. Let's keep but saying it. But you know it. what? I always feel there's a reason. Like, it's not... You know, you can't be it everywhere. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. Mm -mm. Well, you know what it is? I used to get upset if I missed out on, like, seeing someone and getting a picture. Mm -hmm. But then it's like you see the same. I mean, the thing is you really see these New York City housewives all the time in New York. And you see the jersey. You know what I mean? So it's like she's in New York, Kelly. It's not like she came over from, like, Dubai. Right, so you can can find her again. Yeah. So I missed out on that. And then I had nothing else with Fashion Week until Thursday. Thursday night, I had pre-drinks at the Regency. I don't know why I was up there, but I was up there for something. And then Dolores had a fashion thing that I went to with her. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, some – it's you know what the other thing about these shows is? Some are so high-end and right. some you're just like, this is a waste of my time. Right. Like you don't like the clothes. No. This was one of these like – Or beauty- the people. Yeah. Yeah, so this was like a beauty pop-up. Oh, this was the night Dolores was styled by you. Oh, yes, that's right. She wore the Bagley Mishka dress. Oh, that was Bagley Mishka? Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Dolores was like, you know what it is? I, this is what I said before. And you know what's was, crazy? Like, I'm Dolores, I mean, she knows what she likes. Um, and when I initially showed her the dress, like, sent her a picture, she's like, oh, I don't know. And I'm like, girl, I like, it's your color. Like, I'm telling you, it's gonna look good on you. And then she texts me. She draw, you know. She's like, yeah. you, you so have it right." Well, you know what it is. I, I've said this to you before. Dolores is gorgeous. Dolores makes the most gorgeous children that I've ever seen uh, in my and, entire life. And 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 super nice. Super nice. Super good kids. Super good kids. But Dolores, to me, like when it's that silver 
or gold sparkly. I just I've said this I said this to you the other day. I want to see her with something different, and this was different. Mm-hmm. This yeah, is well, like that's I'm looking why, at it. that's it's purple, why, that's, pink. Yes, and that's why she was kind of like, uh, I don't know. It's, Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm amazing. not saying she makes it hard for me because. You know, because I'll show her things. She's like, no, no, no. Like, I there's somebody else I, I dress on TV, and she's really easy to work with. And she's like, oh my god, yeah, 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 yeah. And, That's and how nine I would out be. of t- and nine out of ten times, everything looks great on this client. Do you know what I mean? And and Dolores just has to kind of trust me, but I get it. I, I get it. You know what I mean? Like, it's hard when you're used to seeing yourself a certain way. Yeah. Well, she looked great that night. I mean, the actual. I know. I'm just mad. I wish she had a picture by herself. She doesn't. No. Are you saying you don't like any of these pictures? No, I do. No, no, I do. I think I I reposted it on my Instagram story. Oh, cool. Um, I did tag you. I did. You did. You You did. That's why. Yeah, yeah. That's why I reposted it. Maybe she doesn't have it. I swear, I thought she was on the carpet by herself. I I don't have the picture though. I'll give you the photographer's name. Oh yeah, because maybe maybe they took. Because you know what? Just for my portfolio. That would be great. And then that way Bagley Mishka can see it because it just makes more of a working relationship. Okay, let me have my people reach out to the photographer. The photographer was, like, in love with – well, A, he was in love with Dolores. B, he was in love with me. You know, like, listen, like, this is Mm -hmm. what I do. Like, you know what I mean? I was like, I'll tag you. So I blew his shit up on my Instagram, which has a lot more followers than his. So he was, like, eternally grateful, wrote me this thing. But he was this hot, hot, black – like kind of my height, just a great Ooh. fucking body. See, so I mean, I really don't have a type. You don't. I have mean, a if type. I do, it would be Justin Bieber. That is probably my type. 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 Listen, I discriminate based on looks, not race, not income. Okay. Hot is hot. Okay. You can exactly. be. 20 and hot or 45 and hot. Okay. Just have that rock and bod. Or you know what I'm saying? Just be hot. Okay. Yeah. I'll be on the lookout for you. Yeah. For come sure. on now. Um, but I always tend to date people that are broke as a joke. I, mm-hmm. I don't know why. <sighs> That's something for therapy, I guess. Now, the next day, so that was that was just one of those events where it was like there was a lot going on and Dolores mm-hmm. and I were both like, okay, we need to go. Then I saw Dolores again the next day and I was supposed to spend the whole day with Dolores. So first... I met her at her hotel, and we had a Theory show to go to. And I actually like Theory as a brand. Yes. You know what? To me, Theory is not that it's cheap. It's the less. No, it's not cheap cheap cheap. at all. It's not. But it's cheaper than Prada. Oh, yes. So to me, it's like the less expensive Prada. It reminds me of Prada. Yes. Right. Yeah, because it's somewhat conservative in that sense, you know, like like the suits and the way it's the structure is monochromatic. Made. Yeah, but mm-hmm. it is there's something about it which is so hot. Well, it's made very well. Very well. Mm-hmm. Now, I have two new stray dogs, BFFs. That, but they're connected to theory. Okay. So get this. So Dolores. Because I said to Dolores, like, you you need a seat for the show. It wasn't that type of show. It was a presentation, right? Yeah, it was a presentation. <clears throat> so, But I was like, Dolores, because, listen, I love Dolores dearly, love. But sh- the details aren't always, like, sometimes she just, like, you just show up. Right. I'm like, Dolores, like, I'm not on the show. Like, I can't just show up. Like, if right. there's a seat, they're going to be like, they, you need. Right. I'm going to be with you. I'm exactly. coming to your hotel. Mm-hmm. But, like... So she's like, okay, because I drove Dolores crazy, and I'm like, you have to call Theory. So she called Theory and said, like, I'm bringing a plus one. This is his name. And the girl at Theory said, oh, I know exactly who he is. I listened to his podcast. No. Hand to God. Hand to God. So Dolores is like, David, like, y- y- you don't need me to get into these shows. You can go to these things on your own. Wow. Isn't that amazing? That's Awesome. And like, listen, I thought like, you know, maybe she heard of me or whatever. That's, I mean, even though Dolores, so we like get there and first they're like, wait in line. And like, Dolores is so nice. She was going to wait in line. I'm like, no, no, no. She's like, she's Dolores from like the Real Housewives. Yeah, like get her. I took over. And then Dolores was like, no, 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 David. Like almost like embarrassed. I was like, no, Dolores. Like this is how it's done. Like I wasn't an yeah, asshole. Yeah, but see, but that's how she is. Other yeah. people, they would have. Oh, yeah. They would have been like, you don't know who I am? Yeah. Do you know I mean, what I mean? The line wasn't even that long, but I, was I know, like, Dolores but still, yeah, but oh, do you know course. what I mean? Of course I do. Yeah. So Dolores was, I was like, no, Dolores, like, this is how it, like, you know, I'm, l- l- let me take over your PR for you. Like, yes. this is how I'm it's I'm your done. publicist, yeah. right, at the moment. Which, not for nothing, I am when I hang out with these girls. Right. I do all their fucking social. 
again, Sonic, I've said this before to the audience. Let me tell it to you. If you don't know this, I have many, many jobs that I basically do for free. PR and social media for Housewives is one of them. Wow. Just FYI. Okay. Let's add that to my list of non-paying <laughs> jobs in this world. So we went to theory. So then when I went, when I met this girl, she was like, you know, Dolores was like, this is David. She was like, oh, my God, it's so great. To me. It's, it's wow. true. So, she listens. Yeah. So, so the fact that so now she met you, like, that's even better. Oh, she's like, when, when we were leaving, she's like, you're, you're like the real one I need to hang out with. You have so many stories. She's wow. like, take my number. We exchanged. She's like hounding me for drinks. I mean, I'm going to go. She was very, her husband was cute. Oh. I don't want to threesome with them, but... You know, I, I thought about it for a minute. It's not going to happen. I'm going to keep my myself, my hands to myself. But we're going to go for drinks. So, but the theory show was great. Was, I saw on your story. It was amazing. So that was that. And then after that, this is when I was supposed to hang with Dolores all night. I At that Sid, Sid was being right, honored. Right. And I was supposed to hang out with that. But, and I'm going to save this conversation for another time because it's part of, well, maybe I'll get into a little bit. This is when I got invited to the Chanel dinner. Right. And, you know, I was at Michael Kors earlier that day. Oh, which how was, is, oh that's a God. major fucking show. Well, okay. I always go to the shows. However, the venue was so small that they weren't able to get press in there, certain press. Oh, my God. Um, So I was very disappointed. But they did invite me to their showroom. Um on 42nd Street and saw the actual clothing that was right on the runway. Okay, a couple of things. So the Michael Kors was, so you didn't go to the actual show. I, I was and say, I always go, to, but wow. they couldn't get me in. I mean, there was a lot of people that couldn't make it to that show. I didn't even show. hear about anyone going to that. Like, I know, I don't people know. People weren't in town, man. I don't think so. Yeah, because he, his, his show in September was in Brooklyn at the Navy Yard, Yard House, which was like crazy. This is a whole con- guys. This is just the show of us getting off topic. This I know. is this is a whole nother show. But I used to live. I've lived in two major apartments in New York. Mm -hmm. Not I lived one of them. I lived in. I lived above John Stewart. Oh, you did. Yeah, and John Stewart wanted to buy my apartment. I was like, I'm never moving. Well, I moved, but I was like, I just moved in. Then when John Stewart moved out, Michael Kors and his boyfriend moved in downstairs are you serious yes and one night listen i had a kick-ass sound system that i put in this was like when i was younger i mean one night i was blasting blasting britney she's no madonna but i was in the it was when the britney blackout like the see, toxic like like blackout like that it was just like the and all of us i mean i was going out for the night and it was like friday night at like eight Mm -hmm. 8.30. We're not talking like 3. And I hear someone not like ringing my doorbell. It was fucking Michael Kors. <clears throat> oh my God. And as soon as I heard someone ringing my doorbell, I was you like, knew, like, I didn't oh, know it was shit. him, but I but knew But you like, knew like, yes. oh shit, I gotta like lower the radio. Someone's about to complain. Yes. Sonica, my sound system was fucking amazing. Like the speakers and the shit. It was just great. And yeah, I opened the door and it was Michael Kors and I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm like, I'm going out like in five minutes. So and he's like, well, we're not going out. We're staying in. Like he was such a fucking bitch to really me. yeah i wonder i don't know i don't know if he's i've never heard, don't, he i don't know sketchy. anything i don't know if he's a nice guy or not you know how like some yeah. people have reputations yeah. i have no idea christian's nice is he yeah he really oh, is wait have you been to his store like i heard it's really cool the to one uh, yes up, it's like upper east right yeah Am have I, you been there no do you we're gonna yeah go. let's go together Let, we have to do that what, is it like a workspace thing I, it's kind of like i don't know like I, i've seen people take pictures it's kind of like oh you know like how like there's these pop-up places where people go and take pictures yeah and, yeah it's something like that oh okay i'll i'll, I'll like do that yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I've literally have met him like 15 times. And who knows? Times. Like, he may be That's there. That's what I'm saying. Never know. I've met him like 15 times. And we're still not on our first date. So, okay. obviously, I'm doing something wrong. But, you know, so I guess so the main the main housewife that really was here for Fashion Week was... Deandra. Deandra. Like, a bunch of the girls went to Rebag. Yes, like I Margaret. saw that. But that wasn't that was, a show. No. That's what I mean, like guys, like the, the the ladies are not invited to a lot of. But the I shows. also think a lot of them were away. Like Margaret was out of town. You she said was. Ramona went out of town. Like did. a lot of people. Dolores was in Florida. Yeah. Remember that? You yeah, listen. Yeah. 
I invited Dolores to a bunch of shows with me when she mm-hmm. came back, and she was just like, Mm-mm. you know, it's not really her thing. Right. You know, like yeah, she told me that theory. She has a relationship with the people, and like you know, she does. Mm-hmm. There was this, the thing, the other fashion show that we went to where she was honoring Sid. Right, like she's close with Sid. Yeah, and that, I mean, that was a cute. I you know, I ended up coming. And we Thank missed you for each other. Oh, yeah. Like, Dolores and I are inside. And I'm, like, texting Sonica, like, we're here. And she's like, I know. I, I saw you guys go in. And I'm like, <laughs> what do you mean you saw us go I in? Was, I park, Guys, I love driving into the city. So I had my car. And I'm literally parked right outside. But I was on a phone call. Excuse me. Sorry. It's okay. And um, you didn't you didn't see me. I did not see you. And then I had to leave. And this is honestly going to be part of another well, show. Well, yes. And that I have to hear more about that. Dolores told me. I, was, I felt so bad. I was like, Dolores, I know I told you I would hang out with you all night. But yes, I got invited. And it's a different show. I got invited. I am now friends with one of Ramona Singer's very good friends. I don't need to mention the name. Mm-mm. It's just tr- troll my Instagram, guys, and you'll figure it out. But... She always tells me not to talk about her on the podcast. One day I might. But so she is very close with the Singa Stinga. Oh. Yeah, I'm telling you, this 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 Upper East Side life of mine. And we've really become friends. She's fucking amazing. I love her. And she was like the Singer Stinger. So I was the substitute for the Singer Stinger. Wow. She couldn't go. And it was early in the day where mm-hmm. she said, do you want to be my, do you want to be my yeah, plus it was, one? It was like six in the evening, something like that. But right? I mean, imagine the invitation. Do you oh, want to be my that. plus one? I saw The it. Singer Stinger can't come. And Chanel, I'm like, Chanel, like Chanel who? Chanel Omari from, from Princesses of Long right. Island, who I blocked <clears throat> on, on Instagram and I don't speak to. Uh, she's like Chanel is in the brand. Chanel is taking fifteen of their best clients out for dinner at Daniel, and uh, Ramona's not coming with me. Can you come in her place? Oh, wow. I'm like, let me think about this for a minute. Uh, fuck yes. Yes, I mean exactly. And we'll that's we'll talk about that in the future. And Dolores was like, David, I don't know why you feel bad. I would, dr- I would take you. that. Yes. Like it exactly. Was like, it was like amazing. We'll we'll get into that. But listen, I mean, I do. I have a Chanel piece. Like, I, you know, it's not really my brand. Mm-hmm. But so that's a whole nother topic. So I guess really so right. So the wrap up on Housewives and Bravo is nobody really came. Deandra came in hard. She came in hard and she looked good. She worked for it. So she deserves what she gets. Mm-hmm. It was a stressful week. There was a lot going on. I chose not to go to a fashion show where all my friends in the real world were in a picture with Kelly and no Kelly. <laughs> I chose not to go to Dennis Basso where Lisa Rinna walked down and did the finale. I don't think I could have gotten backstage at that one though. So that's the thing. Like, I don't even okay. know if I would have seen Rinna. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, she was not right, going to walk right, around right, afterwards. Right. Yeah, no, no, no. I got a picture with Giuliani, which again, not a politics show, guys, but for New York. If that's, you're a New Yorker, yes. regardless of People what went crazy. you're, I mean, you were here for 9-11, you, you would stand yeah. up for the guy it's for sure. It's called being a human being, and you know, 9-11's mm-hmm. the worst thing that happened in this world. So, that was that, and I got to see Dolores, I got to see Kim, they were part of my fashion week, mm-hmm. and I guess, anything else? Oh, and you life? got to see me. Oh, and I got to see you. <laughs> I got to see you I got to see you at that one, but that's the only time I saw you. Really? Yeah, no, right? that's the I only time. You. This is what happens, guys. Fashion Week was one week ago. I can't remember. I mean, it's a blur. It's a blur. It, it, the, it, anyone that hasn't done it should do it. No, you have to listen. And the first time I did it, well, I mean, the very first time I worked backstage at various shows, and that's like, that was super cool. But no, as a guest, you're exhausted. You're exhausted because you're running all over. The shows yeah, are no like, high heels, wear sneakers, seriously, or flat shoes because you are on your feet all day. You're if on you, your feet all day. If you're going to do that whole thing, yeah. You're on your feet all day. And my other advice would be like, you know, housewives or no housewives, you'll see celebrities you know. So just keep your eyes Absolutely. open. Absolutely. Always look front row, but like even before the show milling around. Yes, I, mean, I do. You're in the same room as these Listen, people. Listen, that's how I met. Did I tell you I met Stephanie um, from Dallas and the Carrie, uh, yeah. Carrie Duber. Yeah, who Deandra says she hates. Deandra says she doesn't like her, and guess what? Yeah. De- Deandra tells me this all the time. I, I'm. I mean, and maybe hates like a strong word. No, but she they doesn't. Dis- she, yeah, yeah. I, I. 
But she, they were really, I have to tell you, I took a selfie with them and I sent it to Dolores. Listen, she, I love Stephanie. She's like one of my new, new friends. She's like, super sweet. You, 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 it's, it's all organic. I mean, mm-hmm. like, yes, I, I go after these people, but it doesn't mean you're good. Like, Stephanie and I went from like a four to like a nine because I flew to Texas for oh, her. Did you? Yeah, I went to her show. Oh wow. Yeah, and I was gonna go to another, and then like I hung out till four o'clock in the morning with her. No, and, Brandy. and you know what? I I mean they the I think they come, but like you said, September. Car- when the weather is nicer. Spence, though, that's the thing. Carrie buys well, these well, outfits, and, and she Stephanie goes. Has the and money. if you noticed, she does go to like Paris. Oh, her and yes, her husband. She does. He like well he well, like he loves that whole scene. Listen, I... My husband would never do that. I personally... This is the thing. Like, it's like when, like, I'm in between, like, a... Well, like, to her credit, Kim has never said anything. Like, I see Melissa and Teresa, Mm -hmm. and Kim can't stand them, and they can't... Like, I I, I am Switzerland. You know, I make up my own mind. Right. And so for me, I have had nothing but pleasant experiences with Carrie Duber. Mm-hmm. Deandra told me why she didn't like her one yeah, night. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I she was, remember. I mean, like I said, me too. I mean, I just met her once, quick picture, she was great. So that's that. All right, we're going to have to wrap up because, like, we need to go get more coffee. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, I just want to say, you're, because I'm looking at you, you're, I'm obsessed, because we're on the topic of fashion. Uh-huh. I am obsessed with your coat. Oh, you like Before my coat. we leave, yes. Yeah. It's, it's like, definitely an investment. It's a Montclair. It's an investment, but it's a must-have. It's, and get the long. Do they have the long ones for I men? Th- yeah, I think so. If not, yeah, honey, don't don't do the short one. And if, if not, I'll get a woman's coat. I don't give a fuck. I would literally wear that exact coat. Yeah, that's like try absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I'm. I think I'm going to. But um, okay, guys. So you know, get to know Sonica because she is here to stay. Oh. We're going to be bringing you all sorts of fashion things as they happen. I know, and 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 you know what's great? I do watch. Most of all the you Bravo do. shows. I and was listen. catching up last night because I've been out every night. I had to catch up on my Shaws, which was really good. Oh, God, we have to. And guess what? I'm actually pretty friendly with Mike's new girlfriend. Oh, my. Oh, I'm okay. her friend, okay. and she's private on Instagram. Oh, okay. She's super sweet. I met her at BravoCon. So we're going to be oh, talking. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Oh, my God. Okay. Sonica, <laughs> you just might have booked yourself like seven more shows or something based on that last minute statement. But everyone, where can we find you online? Okay. You're going to find me on Instagram at styled by Sonica, S-O-N-E-C-A. And you can find me at David Yontef. And remember, you can book me on Cameo. A lot of people have been asking me on Cameo for like behind the scenes stuff. Like Cameo is not just for happy birthday and this and that. If you want me to say something on Cameo, you don't have to do a Cameo. You can reject it. I do not reject anything. So I want my $10. <laughs> so if you're willing to pay me the $10, you can ask me things. Because the thing is, if you book me and you want, I mean, I have to do it or right. you have to reject it. Really. Exactly. Otherwise, you know, so ask whatever you think I'm not going to answer in real life. There you go. Pay the $10 and I'll answer whenever yes. you want. And you can find me at David Yantef Sonica. This has been amazing. This is so much fun. I need to catch up on things too. You know that I want to stay in and you know I want to sleep. But I still put on my big girl pants and force myself out because I, David Yantef, can best serve all of you behind the velvet robe. Right. Bye. Bye. That was great. That was good, right? Great. And we didn't go that much over. We didn't? Okay. Just stay here. I just want to make sure she knows we're going. Okay. I think it was great. Yeah, I know. I was looking at the clock, but we started late too. If you go over, they charge you. But okay, here you want to try my coat on really quick.